Hey, this is Chris and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to integrate a Weber to add contacts to call loop when somebody fills out your AWeber signup form. So the first thing to do to get this integration going is from call loop we want to create our group and the group is where uh, you're going to add these contacts to. So think of it in the same respects as a AWeber list. So for example, let's say this would be um, subscribers. Okay, so we would just give this a name. This could be customers, it could be subscribers, it could be people that are signing up for a webinar or a teleseminar and that sort of thing. So what you see here is just the name. Now allow resubscribes, this is uh, by default set to yes, but this is really set up for if you are giving, let's say a coupon code or something on, on that initial message that they're gonna get. Uh, you'd set this to no, but by default, you just want to keep that uh, to yes. Uh, notifications, you're probably going to keep this to no, but this is essentially we will send you an email every time somebody's added to your group. Uh, and so the integration here, we want to check this and we want to select a Weber. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to now put in our thank you page. So let's just say that our thank you page in this example will be Google. Uh, now, obviously, from a Weber, you have your thank you page, but Call Loop is the one that is going to be getting the information, and you want to put your URL where you want the people to be redirected after they fill out your a Weber form. Okay. Now, from this, you'll see custom, and it's going to ask you for uh, the name of the phone field. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to create this, and it's called phone. Okay. Now, let's head over to a Weber because I want to create a signup form. So I'm going to go ahead and click a signup form. Okay. And on our form here, we're capturing a name, an email address, and a phone. So I actually created this, um, this field here. And what you want to do is if you need to create a new one, you'll just go here, you'll create phone and you'll click next okay now since I already have the phone field we're going to keep that in here and it looks like I've already went through called it phone VIP updates okay now obviously with a Weber a email address is required you can always remove the name the uh, uh, the email has to stay here all right so let's go to the next step so we'll go to step two and I'm just going to call this one call loop testing okay and the thank you page here is custom page. It's going to ask us to enter in a URL. So let's go over to call loop and I'm just going to submit this and it's going to give me a URL. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to then paste it in here. Okay. And again, for already subscribed and do the same thing, I'm going to paste that in there. Now this is very important. We want to make sure that we select the advanced settings and we check this box, pass form data, okay? That is very important. So if we go to step three, it's gonna ask us to save that form and we are all set. So let's go ahead and fill out this form here, okay? Which is our AWeber form. Now. Before we fill that form out, let's go over here to call loop because after somebody fills out our form, we want to send them a text message. So I'll just call this one welcome. I want to send this to them immediately. Uh, you can always set this between certain hours. So for example, maybe you know if they fill it out at two in the morning, maybe you don't want to send them a message. So let's say, hey, between 12 noon and you know 8 p.m. at night, we want to send this message. I'm just going to leave that unchecked. I'll click this uh, to continue. And I will say thank you for subscribing. Okay. And there we go. So I'll create that follow up, turn that on, and we should be good. So let me go over here to our AWeber form. And I'll go ahead and put this in. Okay. I'll put in a phone number. And let's go ahead and sign up. Okay, 
So now you see that it went through to Google, which is the the uh, thank you page that we set up when we created our group. So I'm just gonna click refresh here, and there it is. So there's the one subscriber, and there's me. So that's it, that's how easy it is. I would say that the biggest uh, mistake people make with this is they include the wrong phone field or the wrong field for call loop to look for. So the way to look for that is on your phone field, you're gonna right click, and then if you click inspect, this will pull up here. And what you wanna look for is this custom name, is this name and then your phone field. So you see how it says custom phone and that matches with call loop. You wanna make sure that those are matching, okay? So maybe if this is you know custom phone number and that's what it says in a Weber, but in call loop it's different, then that's usually why it's not working. So you just wanna make sure that those match, All right? So you have phone and phone and that's it. So. That should do it. If you have any questions, again, feel free to email our support, and we'll be more than happy to help you out.